Peterson. I'm a senior system engineer in Dell Data Center Solutions. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about Zeus or the C8000 chassis and how you might connect a double wide storage sled to a double wide compute sled uh, in various different ways. So a storage sled has 12 hot plug slots. It can accommodate 12 three and a half inch hard drives, 12 two and a half inch hard drives, or 24 SSDs in a non-hot plug format. So the interesting thing about the storage sled is that you can configure it and connect it in all kinds of different ways. So the simplest configuration is what I've got shown right here right now, which is basically a compute sled connected here with either a RAID or an HBA card and an external SAS cable to one of the ports on the front of the storage tray. As you can see, there's four ports. The bottom two ports map to one SAS expander and the top two ports to a separate one. That will become more important later. But for the moment, this is the simplest config. So you have one compute tray connected to the storage tray and it can see all 12 or 24 of the hard drives inside. This one connection provides you about two gigabytes per second worth of bandwidth. If for some reason you need more bandwidth, for example, if you put SSDs in, what you can do is just connect the second external SAS cable. And now you have double the effective bandwidth. So this is the second most common configuration. Now the next thing that you could do is, for example, um, if you wanted to use the dual path feature of SAS, if you put in SAS hard drives, what you could do is basically use the top SAS expander, plug that into a second node. Now you have connections such that you have one connection going to each compute node, and they're on separate expanders, which means you now have two full SAS paths all the way to the hard drives. This gives you a failover HA type scenario, which might be useful in some applications. Another option that you have in a similar path is with two cables connected like this, you could program the expanders such that they're zoned. In this case, what you could do, for example, is take the 12 drives that are in here and map six of them such that six of them are seen by this compute node, and then six of them are seen by this compute node. That allows these two compute nodes to share one storage tray and thereby not requiring separate storage trays for each compute cell. 